guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jen with Jen's Whims, and today I'm going to talk about the cold weather and how it affects my range in my 2023 Ford Mustang Mach E. So, um, I would like to start out by saying um, it about what the weather has been like. So, normally where we are in Texas, um, the weather is warm all the time. Like we, we joke and say that we only have like two days of winter where we're from. So we had, um, snow, a little bit of snow, um, a lot of cold weather and a lot of sleet and rain right now it's raining. Um, and it's the wind chill has been a lot colder than what the actual temperature outside is. So I thought I'd jump on here real quick and just do a short video of how that cold weather has affected my range. So normally when I charge up to 100% um, during warm weather, I have about 315, 320 miles of range. And let's see. So I just monitored over three days what my range was like so I could show you guys. So we'll just call day one, two, day three. So day one, um, it was 18, 18 degrees outside. Um, and I started at 100% after charging at the house. And my range at 100% was 291. Okay. So um, I only drove about 10 miles each of the three days that I did this little study <laughs> or observation, we'll call it. So 291 minus the 10 miles driven, it budgeted 40 range miles of power consumption. And the things that I did each, each time that I turned off the car and I was going to go out into the elements to get to my car, um, I started it remotely with my phone and I had it heat up the interior temperature, uh, 77 degrees, um, heated seat all the way up and also heated steering wheel. So, um, and I think that does it for like 15 minutes. I think, I think it's about 15 minutes before I actually start the car. Okay. Moving on to day two. So day two, um, I did not charge it again. This is just three straight days of doing one charge and seeing over the three days how my mileage is. Okay. So on day two was the day we got snow. So I started at 240, drove about 10 miles, and then it budgeted 37 miles of range for power consumption is what it took out. So I ended that day with 193 miles. Um, then day three was no more rain, snow, sleet. Actually, sun came out. Everything seemed a little drier. Um, and it was maybe, I want to say like in the 40s or 50s, but with the sun. So it felt like totally fine to be out in a hoodie. Not very long, but like you could like run into the store real quick in a hoodie and be fine. Um, so that day I started out at 193 range, drove about 10 miles that day, and I added two miles of range for my power consumption. So and I ended that day with 185 miles. So um, Chad was explaining to me that our cars are really, really smart and they know how to calculate what your expected range will be due to the weather. So it's not that I lost all that mileage. It's more so that the computer took into account my driving conditions. If you have any questions about um, anything else that could affect the range, I know Chad uh, wants to do a video on um, how um, driving at different speeds can either lengthen or shorten your range. So uh, we'll have a video coming out about how that affects his truck in the Lightning. So stay tuned for more EV videos. Bye. Thank you.